there are patients who do very well in the IVF cycle and make good quality embryos, but their uterus lining, what's called the endometrium, is very thin. And because the endometrium is very thin, we really don't see much point in transferring the embryos because the embryos aren't likely to implant in a thin endometrium. And that can be a very frustrating problem, particularly because for most women, the endometrium regenerates itself every month. So that normally it's not a common problem. But when it is, it's a heart seal problem. Now we try all kinds of things. We do hysteroscopies. We've tried other things like uh, injecting growth factor inside the uterine cavity with all kinds of medications, acupuncture, yoga, and something to increase the blood flow like vaginal Viagra. But a lot of these things don't work very well. So what's the newest scam in town these days in order to treat a thin uterus lining? Doctors are now doing PRP injections. So what's PRP? PRP stands for platelet enriched plasma. And the doctors say, you know, this is so simple. I can do it for you right now. They extract the blood, spin it down and say, now this sample has lots of stem cells. And these stem cells are magic. We will put this PRP back inside your uterine cavity and some will just put it in through with a catheter. Some will do a hysteroscopy and inject it. And they'll promise the patient that the stem cells inside this PRP solution will then become new endometrial cells and you'll now have a great new endometrial. Complete hocus pocus, complete lie, doesn't work. But unfortunately, patients aren't well informed enough and they're so desperate that they will clutch at straws and they do everything the doctor tells them to do. So the PRP scam is something which you should not allow your doctor take you for a ride because they charge you a lot of money, just end up creating a lot of false hope. And this is one of those technologies which unfortunately just does not work.